Hey guys, welcome to another video. I'm Dave Shaves. Today I am showcasing a product that I actually uh, got in the mail a couple days ago. It is a new shave brush that I received. About a month or so ago, I received a message on Twitter that I had won a giveaway. The giveaway was for a new to the market brush from a brand called Tatara. And it is a boar's hair brush. It's this guy right here. I've been having it soaking now for a while while I was in the shower. And I thought I would go ahead and use it today. I did use it yesterday, but I wanted to go ahead and showcase it on a video. And so that's what I'm doing. Now with that, I'm gonna be using my Mula R41. Loaded up in there, I have a Kai blade on its third use. And then for my soap, I'm going to be using Parasso White, a little sample of Parasso White that I had gotten. That's right there. And some Parasso Aftershave Balm. So that is what I'm using today. Let's see what we can do. Now, I do have some concerns as to what this brush will do. Um, and it's more a concern that I have with all my brushes and that sometimes when I put samples of the soap in here It doesn't catch all the soap in my brushes. So I'm actually hoping this one might be a little bit better because it does have a, a Stronger backbone and it is sort of a more steady brush. So I thought maybe it might catch more of the uh, soap We'll find out in the answer I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit more water in the bowl here just to help dissolve the soap a little bit and we'll go ahead and see what happens when we start lathering. Well, right off the bat, it actually does seem to be catching the soap a little bit more. You can see it actually in the brush a little bit and it definitely broke up in the bowl there. So that's actually, a, that's happening quicker than it usually does with my badger hair brushes and my synthetic brush, which I think is more the backbone than it is the make of the, the bristles. But we're actually starting to get a nice lather. I'm gonna lather it for a while to get a really good lather going on. One thing I did notice yesterday, and I did use Parasso Green Shave Cream, is that it lathers, this brush does lather nicely. I'm gonna sort of save the rest of my comments on what I think of the brush until as we go, just to make it fair and I can give my honest opinions in the moment. Because memory is not always the best. Sometimes you think you like something or you think you don't like something and then you try it and it turns out uh, you were wrong. I'm gonna add a little bit more water because it's a little dry. Now I put a little too much water in, I think. Just can't win. So we're gonna 
splash some water on my face and see if we can work with that. If not, I might have to put a little bit more soap in there. Honestly, I'm a little concerned with the brush thus far because with my other brushes that I've used a sample of the Parasos on before, this Parasso soap, I never have an issue getting a good lather. And now I'm either too watery or too dry and it's, it's just not working properly. And that's not something that I've ever had happen with my badger hairs. but we'll go ahead and, and try it. As you can see, it's not a very thick lather, but we'll see how it does. I mean, it's a, it's a very thin lather. It's there and it's nice and slick, but it's just, it's not producing the thick lather that I'm used to. Part of that could be me, but I'm usually pretty good at getting a good lather even using the Parasso samples, because while I've never used Parasso white, I've used a Parasso red sample and I've used a sample Parasso green before I got the cream. And I've used the Parasso green cream as well. And I've used other soap samples as well that I've just put in there and gotten a good lather from. So this is just, I think it's part of this has definitely got to be the brush. It feels good. I mean, the brush feels decent. It's got a nice, nice heft to it. It's got a nice backbone. It's just not producing the lather that I'm used to. I mean, it's producing a good slickness. So that's good. It's just not as thick of a lather as I'd like. But the blade and the razor are gliding over without any friction or anything like that. So slickness is definitely there. Slickness is definitely there. And this is a rather aggressive blade. And a definitely aggressive razor. So if I don't get a lot of slickness, usually I can feel it right off the bat and I'm not. So while the brush didn't produce a very good lather, the soap did provide enough slickness. But there really isn't much residual. If I can get a little bit more to pop out from what's in the brush, maybe, but it doesn't look like it's having much success. See, it's, it's very light. It's just very, very light. But look, there's still a decent amount in there. It's very soupy, but I can't even just, it's just...
Part of this, like I said, could be me. But I don't think a lot of it is. I think a lot of it has got to be the brush. I'm just not getting the lather in the brush. It's not lathering properly. I'll try it with a cream because it worked well with a cream yesterday. Maybe I just have to use more. Maybe I'm just not getting the amounts exactly right. Maybe that's it. Maybe that I just have to be very careful with what I measure with this particular brush. I'm taking off a lot of that beard. Luckily, the slickness is definitely there because even though there's not much popping up, there's a lot of residual slickness on there. That is working just fine. I'm not going to go in for a third pass. I'm just going to call it good after two because there's not enough lather and I don't want to take the time to re-lather. But honestly, I got enough slickness here. I can go over a couple areas an extra time or so. I went over one of my cuts from when I did my uh, shave at shave was right there and it was still healing and I, I went over it a little bit. Luckily, it's not bleeding as much as it was first time around, but that's why there's a little bit of blood there. It's got nothing to do with this razor today. So luckily enough slickness that I can go ahead and get the problem areas. And this was a nice, a nice combination of blade and razor that I didn't really need a third pass. So that's good. That kind of kind of lucked out on that one. So, all right, I'm going to go ahead and rinse off the razor and my face, and I'll come back for a couple final remarks, and we'll go from there. All right, so luckily... There was enough slickness for me to get a good shave regardless, but there was not a lot of lather. I barely got enough for two and I was lathering for a while. And like I said, I used the same ratio that I've done plenty of times before. So it's part of it could have been the ratio might have been slightly off, but part of it was also, I think that brush. Um, I'm gonna try it with some creams. Maybe this particular brush just works better in creams. I don't know because it worked well yesterday so I'm honestly not certain so again part of it could be user error but I don't think a lot of it was but I will try again uh, it's a good brush overall I mean it's it's a good heft to it good weight good backbone I like that I also like the feel of it I'm just not getting the the lather out of it so maybe it's just a trade-off but let's go ahead and use some of the Parasso aftershave balm Bunch right there. And where I nicked myself, reclose back up. I just went over the scab a little bit, but it seems to have closed back up. I don't even need to stick the pencil on that. So we're good there. I do like the scent of that aftershave balm. I'm not sure if it's actually Paraso White or if it's something else, but it's got a nice scent to it. Not bad. Definitely nice feel. So. Anyway, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. As per usual, if you're watching this video and you have not yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, you like all my videos, hit that like button. Give me a comment below. That said, of course, as always, stay happy, stay healthy, and keep shaving. I will see you on the next video.